Hey guys, welcome back to our YouTube channel. It's your girl Fanny Lungu back with another reaction video. If you're new to this channel, make sure to give this video a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and of course, do not forget to subscribe. Like I said, my name is Fanny Lungu. If you're new, welcome. If you're not, welcome back. Um, you can find us on Instagram as Fanny and Jesse, Facebook Fanny and Jesse as well. Just head there, say hi, we'll say hi back. Um, you can check out our second YouTube channel called Fanny and Jesse 2.0. Head there, subscribe, and enjoy the content that we put out. So with this uh, main channel of ours, our reaction channel, we react to anything and everything. So if there's something, you know, that you really, really want us to react to deep down, let us know by dropping the link or the name down below and we'll be more than glad to actually react to it. So today, I'm actually going to be reacting to a mathematical miracle in the quran that will blow your mind so without wasting time let's get into the video sallallahu alayhi wa sallam okay he does not know how to read or write so how is he giving the quran to people he's speaking it he's speaking it so the people who believed in him those 23 years that were they were with him they did not see a book if they thought of the quran you know what they thought of like the prophet's face came in their head and his voice rung in their head you understand? Like for them, they could not think of the Qur'an without thinking of the Prophet We can do that. When we think of the Qur'an, sometimes we don't think of the Prophet we just think of a book. For to them, the Prophet and the, the message and the messenger were inseparable. The Qur'an comes down over 23 years, it's not been put in book form, it's not been put into a database, it hasn't been put into a search engine. Now it has. Now what the Prophet said has been put into a search engine, it's been put into a database, so you can actually do a search. How many times does the Qur'an say this word? You could do that? Could you do that back then? So now, after 23 years of this book, and centuries and centuries later, we have this book in book form. This book uses the word ad-dunya. You know what ad-dunya means? This world. This book uses the word this world 115 times. 115 times. What word is used? Did anybody know that back then? They had no idea. This book also uses Al-Akhirah. This life, Al-Dunya, Al-Akhirah, the next life. It uses it 115 times. This book uses the word angels 88 times. Malaika, 88 times. It uses the word devils, Shayateen, 88 times. The word life occurs 145 times in the entire Quran. Al-Hayat, life. You want to take a guess what else comes in the Quran 145 times? Death. Death, the word death occurs in the Quran 145 times. The word good deeds, good deeds are mentioned 167 times. As salihat and as sayyat, bad deeds, 167 times. The word disbelief is mentioned 17 times. Belief is mentioned 17 times. Iblis is mentioned by name 11 times. Seeking refuge from Iblis is mentioned 11 times. They said, the phrase they said occurs 332 times. And the Quran says, say 332 times. How is it possible that in, in like 23 years of revelation, he uses the word month only 12 times? Days actually only use 365 times. There's just a few. Just word counts. Is that humanly possible? But just think about that. Is that humanly possible? Somebody speaks for 23 years, doesn't write any of it down, and these words seem to line up perfectly. I'm thinking to myself, why do the words actually line up? Why should they? Because sometimes when you're writing something, maybe poetry, um, maybe a song, you deliberately place certain words in certain places. If it's rhyme, mean that you're going with. If it's a certain structure of words that you're going with, it's all done. Um, I was trying to say everything is all done with intention. So why exactly would it be the case with the Quran has no one ever spoken about what message it was trying to convey or 
or you just take it in as it comes and um and for the people that actually notice these things a big shout out to you because imagine counting every word imagine counting life all those numbers death all those numbers and all these numbers and what they amount to what is it about these numbers that the quran wants us to understand or the writers want us to understand or the narrator wants us to understand you know there should always be something that's what i believe but then if there's nothing i i don't know you guys let me know let me know what you think about the numbers what you think the purpose was and just what you think about the entire video in as a whole so yeah, let me know if there's something that you guys want us to react to, drop the link down below. I'll be more than glad to react to it. Uh, make sure to give this video a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and of course, do not forget to subscribe. And we'll see you in our next reaction, or I'll see you in my next reaction video.